Hello friends, welcome and welcome back to Gaius Migrate. Are you looking for a school where you can study for free in Canada? Then I got your back because this video is for you. This school has numerous scholarship opportunities. They've got entrance scholarship, departmental scholarship and prestigious scholarship. Okay, in fact, there are some programs in this school that you don't even have to pay for tuition fee. Yes, and I'll give you more gist about that. So in the course of this video, I'll be sharing with you the eligibility requirements, the deadlines and how you can apply for this scholarship. This scholarship is for bachelor's degree, master's and PhD students. So let's get started and if this is your first time you are clicking on my video thank you very much i really appreciate you and i love you please consider to like or subscribe to this channel if this sounds like something that you're interested in and you want to hear more now to my returning subscribers oh my family thank you so much thank you for your love thank you for your support and please do not forget to like this video because it helps me to create more content like this and it also helps youtube to recommend more people and do not forget to share this with your loved ones because you might just be helping someone out there so guys you can see funding and support right so let me show you something then we'll come back and look at this so there's some so these are the programs i was talking about i'm going to give you just more just about that later in the course of the pro um, the course of this video but i just want you to look at this so as you can see funding opportunities what it covers tuition fee tuition and fee so as you can see here you don't have to pay tuition after they've taken care of your tuition and fee now you still have some incomes that you're going to earn so they're going to give you eight thousand to twelve thousand per year if you qualify i mean if you're part if you're going to study these programs okay so you're going to be eligible for eight thousand to twelve thousand per year as a master student okay if you're doing your master program now if you're doing your phd program for this particular programs that we're going to be looking at pretty soon and if you're doing a phd you also don't have to pay for tuition fee okay tuition or fees you don't have to pay for any of this and you have twenty thousand per year as income that's money that you can use for whatever you want to do probably your accommodation and whatever expense whatever it is okay so this are the courses right here uh, the programs i'm going to share that with you as you can see and no tuition no fees so guys okay if this sounds like something that you're already interested in please consider to like this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't because of my next video i'll also be sharing another scholarship opportunity like that okay so you don't want to miss out turn on your notification bell okay so guys please it takes a lot of work hard work to do research and come up with informations like this so support me so that i can keep doing what i'm doing all right so like this video share this video with your loved ones and do not forget to subscribe okay i trust you guys because you guys already know how we do it here so you can see funding and support okay so let's go So I guess I've got a program that you don't have to pay tuition fee for. Okay, the one that I showed you at the beginning in my intro, right? So now, so this is the program. So the, the program, the faculty is the computer science of faculty. So and all the programs under this um, faculty, if you are eligible for it, you don't have to pay tuition fee and you're going to get extra income. Okay, so now let's read. All right, so, so applicants who want to be considered for external scholarship like the Nova Scotia graduate um, scholarship must apply to the faculty of graduate studies harmonized scholarship program by January 15th. So if you want to consider for this scholarship opportunity, you need to apply by January 15th. Okay. You can and are encouraged to apply to the harmonized scholarship even before you apply to the university itself. So very important, guys. So you can actually apply to this scholarship before you apply for the school. OK, and you can reach out to the supervisors for more information about this particular program. OK, great. So you don't have 
So if you if you need any info, just come here, click on faculty, and you're gonna get information about the faculty members. You can reach out to them. So that you know how you go about this. Okay, great. Let's go. So the program is the it's computer science. So the programs under computer science in this faculty. So the this faculty is computer science. Okay. So the programs under this faculty are eligible for this funding opportunity. Okay, if you are eligible for it, you don't have to pay for tuition fee. Do you get it? And you get extra money like stipend. Okay, so now let's look at the master. So masters of computer science. Strong masters of computer science applicants who are connected with or who we are able to connect with a supervisor are considered for faculty funding. So so this so apart from the harmonized scholarship opportunity, there's something called the faculty funding. And I told you guys about the departmental scholarship opportunity. So this is it. So this is faculty funding. If you're able to reach out to the supervisor, please do that. Very important. See, come here, click on faculty. You would click on faculty and you would find information about the faculty members. Reach out to them, reach out to them by sending them a mail. Let them tell them a little bit about yourself, tell them the program that you want to study is a request if you can get funding for this program or for a particular kind of program. Please reach out to them, very important. So that is it. So faculty funding, you reach out to them. Faculty funding is based on merit and availability. So as you can see, this is based on merit, merit and if the fund is available. So I don't see why you shouldn't be able to do this. So please reach out to the faculty member or you, so members, so basically the supervisor, tell them a little bit about yourself, um, tell, show their interest in a particular program you want to do in this department and ask if they are able to support you as international student for this one opportunity. Trust me, you're going to get it. So they are saying that faculty funding is based, faculty funding is based on merit and availability. About 20 to 25 of admitted masters of um, computer science students receive funding. So Let's note this. So about 20 to 25 percent of students are going to be admitted in this particular faculty, which is for master's computer science, you know, master's computer science, the programs under it, um, 20 to 25 percent students are going to receive this funding opportunity. So you might just be lucky and be part of that 20 to 25 people that are going to be considered for no tuition fee and would get extra money. Do you understand? Okay, so those who are admitted with funding and who are making satisfactory progress are funded for um, tuition, okay, um, and um, plus 8,000 8, to 12,000 per year. Okay, so you get additional income aside than paying for the tuition fee, they're still going to give it 8 to 12,000 every year as a master student who is studying computer science. And what, there are some particular programs that are that are covered, I'm going to show you soon. If you need to, so for, in this faculty, you're going to get funding and programs under this faculty, you're going to get funding. OK, now let's move on. So now the PhD, if you want to do the PhD in computer science, PhD students making satisfactory progress are fully funded for tuition and school fees, plus a minimum of 18,000 per year for at least four years. So if you're a PhD student, you don't have to pay tuition fee. You're still going to get 18,000 every year for up to four years. Okay, so for the PhD students, they have more advantage actually. Okay. Now, so let's look at everything in a glance, like I showed you before. So, um, financial amounts, as you can see, funding opportunity, Masters of Computer Science. You can see it said eligible for funding, but not guaranteed. Yes, the reason it is because uh, only 25%, up to 25% people are going to receive this opportunity as master's students. Okay, great. So you don't have to, if you, have, if you qualify, you don't have to pay for tuition fee. And remember, it is based on merits. And of course, academic, but most importantly, merits. So everyone can take advantage of this. Great. But of course, if you academic, your GPA is strong, you have, I think, I believe you should have higher chance to, you know, but I think it's about how you present your case anyway. It is individual basis. So as you can see, funding opportunity, what it covers, income after tuition, you know, after tuition and fee. Okay, so now let's see. So for Masters of Computer Science student, no tuition fee, no tuition, no fee, you're going to get additional 8,000 to 12,000 every year. Now, for PhD students, no tuition, no fee, you're going to get up to, you're going to get 20,000 every year, 20,000 every year. And the, the length of the course is um, four to five, 10, four to five. 
four to five term, and this one is four to five years. The period is four to five years. Now, funded fellowship opportunity in. So there are funding opportunity also in these programs, guys. So human computer interaction, visualization, and graphics, um, software engineering, system network and security, big data analytics, and artificial intelligence machine learning, ocean antelope. Ocean analysis, algorithm, and bioinformatic. So all these programs also qualify, guys. As you can see for yourself, no tuition, no tuition and fee. It is covered. I believe you can see this. So guys, go ahead and like this video. Support me. It takes a lot of time to put information like this together to do a lot of research. I'm just trying to help you guys by bringing this information to your doorstep so you can take advantage of it. You only need to do a little bit of research and here you go. So please do me a favor by liking this video, okay? Subscribe to this channel if you like content like this, all right? Then most importantly, if this is not for you, let's say this particular video is not for you, please share it with people. Share it with your friends, share it with your loved ones. Remember, I always tell you that sharing is caring. Share it to people that matters to you, people who actually need this opportunity. Okay, I've already shared um, one for, I think, Indian student, another one for Jamaica student. Uh, this is also for, for, com uh, this is for a computer science student or who want to go into computer science, like faculty. It's not just a computer science. There are programs under which I just mentioned that they also they qualify for this amazing, incredible scholarship. You can just study. So you can see for yourself very clearly that you can study in Canada for free. Guys, for free. Let's go. It's a lot. They also have graduate... Um, programs you can see agriculture architect um architecture biology color engineering biology um, business administration chemical engineering guys they go lots they go lot. so you see they've got a lot they got health health related programs you know law let, even nursing let me look at the nursing program so as you can see, they have nursing program as well that you can take advantage of international students. I can even see that they have funding support for nursing programs. Wow. So award and grant. So C, 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 guys. So these are the scholarships that are available for their nursing programs. Wow. I said it. This school has opportunity for almost everybody, guys. Almost everybody. You just need to take time and go through your program. So let me show you how you can take advantage of this scholarship opportunity. So. You know they have the entrance ones. They want they have the one you could apply and one you don't have to apply. Apply for and to qualify, you need to apply to this school number one. Then you get access to the student portal. Then you apply for the general entrance application. They have hundreds of it. They've already said that. Apply for those scholarship that um, entrance general um, general entrance scholarship. Then you'll be eligible for a lot of scholarships. And if you meet the requirements, you get the application. The second thing you want to do is to go to your department, the faculty that you want to study in, like we saw the computer science. Look, see this is another one right here, the nursing program. Go to your faculty, like go to the department, check out if there's scholarship opportunity. If you don't find scholarship opportunity, reach out to your supervisor, reach out to the advisor of that program and send them a mail. Tell them you're interested in a particular program in their school. Tell them a little bit about yourself and ask if they have funding opportunity for international students. Guys, this is how you get funding for your, your, your tuition. This is how you get to find your tuition you know, in, as international student, some of the scholarship would not be stated on their website. But when you reach out to the supervisors, when you reach out to the advisors, you know, they are going to tell you if there is scholarship opportunity for international students. So please reach out to them, you know, send them a mail and ask if there is scholarship opportunity for international student in this particular program that you're going to study. And if there is, they will let you know, guys, they will let you know. And some of these um, supervisors can even give you a research um, assistant job or graduate assistant um, job to do. That is also a source of funding for a tuition fee. Guys, these are things that we need to be smart about. Okay, so as you can see here, the nursing program also have some good funding opportunity. Look at it. So make time, search, um, go through them and see if you qualify for them and, and find out how you can apply for this um, scholarship. So basically, you can just reach out to the advice of this program and let them know your intention and tell them how you can take advantage of these scholarship opportunities. Okay. All right, guys. So let's go. So if you want to reach out to the faculties, please, you can just come here. When you click on the particular program, come here.
Par contre, And you can see, you can see, you can see all that. So look for the one you can reach out to and just send them a mail. Send them a mail, guys. It is that simple to look for them. Send them a mail, guys. Okay, great. I love you guys. So that's something all this. I hope you, 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 I hope you do take advantage of this, honestly. I really hope you do. Okay. So let's move on. Oh, look at their PhD program. So they even got law and all that. So, so I think I saw some scholarship opportunity for law somewhere. I don't know, but you guys, you guys can just do um, research on it. And like I told you, reach out to the supervisors of these programs, advisors of these programs, and ask if there's scholarship opportunity for international students. Okay, that's another way to, you know, get it. Yeah, so before I forget, guys, so the name of this institution or this university is the Da Jose University. I don't know what I've got it. I, I got the pronunciation right, Da Jose University. Okay, so that's the name of this uh, university. So um, I still have final scholarship options that I need to show you guys. You need to wait, uh, please wait to the end because you don't want to miss out on that as well. So um, this is, if you want to apply to the school, graduate of, um, faculty of graduate um, studies. So this is apply and um, so international students. So let's look at their English requirements. But before that, before that, let's look at some of the, what you need to do, your guide to the application process. So first of all, um, check out your program specification. You click on your program, you check what are the pro sorry, program requirements. Then you also check out for the graduate minimum admission requirements for your program, then the English proficiency. So let's check that because everybody needs that, right? So English um, language requirements for this school. So English requirement proficiency, let's go. It is possible to have these requirements waived if you have completed your degree at a recognized university where the language of instruction is English and in a country where English is one of the official languages. Guys, can you hear that? You will be able to request this waiver during the application process. Case done. I'm done with that. So, guys, um, the last thing I need to share, which is the final scholarship opportunity, of course. So, international student scholarship brochure and awards. So, let's go, guys. Let's go. So, as you can see for yourself, there is numerous, like numerous scholarship opportunities in this school. But I just decided to take my time to show you some other scholarships that are not readily shown by other um, YouTubers, okay, so that you can equally take advantage of. That's why I took my time to do that. So, but these scholarships are here. So we have the Abud Majid Graduate Scholarship, and this scholarship is for both. It's, it's actually for international students. Yeah, it's for inter entrance international students, and it is forty thousand Canadian dollars per year and for two years. This is crazy. So one thing I've noticed in this school is that with the research programs, there are a lot of funny opportunities for research programs like teens based programs. That's one thing I've noticed with the school. Okay, and for PhD students, so there's a lot of scholarship opportunity for them. Okay, so guys, you can see there's a whole lot, whole lot, whole lot, whole lot, and um, please make time to check them out. So they also have the Kill Lam Pre Doctoral Scholarship Level 1 Master. So this is for Masters. So it is for both Canadian and international students. It's worth 25,000 Canadian dollars per year plus international tuition fee. Wow, I don't know what that is, but. I'm sure it means that they are paying your tuition fee. I'm sure it means that there's going to pay a tuition fee as well. So 25,000 um, Canadian dollars per year. That's huge for masters. My God, this is great. So it's a thesis based masters program. So this is a Scotia graduate scholarship. Remember the scholarship that we saw somewhere in Scotia? Yeah, this is, this is it right here. So you need to apply for this. Uh, as a PhD student, it's for both Canadian and international student, 15,000 a year up to four years. Okay, so there's a whole lot. One here is for both international and Canadian students. For masters, it is 10,000 per year. For PhD, it is 15,000 per year. We also have the Vitamin Scholarship Masters. So this is a master's scholarship for Canadian and international students, it's 19,000 per year. Then they also have the entrance um, scholarship for the, the Vagtamin Scholarship Doctoral Program. Both um, the scholarship is for both um, 
Canadian International students is 21,000 Canadian, 21, Canadian dollars per year for two years. So there is a whole lot, like a whole lot. So per my observation from this particular page, I can see that most of the scholarship are for um, these basis for masters and the, um, PhD programs, but at this basis um, course program, right? So most of it, like I said. Okay, so guys, here you go. So thank you very much for staying with me to the end of this video. Uh, I think I've mentioned the name of the school. It is at Jose University. Okay, so I really appreciate you and thank you for your time. So sorry, share it with your loved ones. And um, like I said, I also have another amazing scholarship opportunity coming up. Um, I sent a mail to a school and they, I got some response back. And I'm going to share that with you guys in my next video. But you can also take advantage of that if you want to study for free. So thank you so much. I love you guys. Peace out. Bye for now.